Cold-blooded love. Cold-hearted snake. Welcome back to the Southern Quality Forward Friday Night Blitz. After a season opening loss to Parkway, it's been nothing but wins for the Minden Crimson Tide. That's right, Brad. The Tide are 3-1 and one of the season, but this week they get set for the start of district play. Let's get back into our Louisiana highlights. Louisiana highlights brought to you by Christus Velocity Urgent Care. The Tide taking on BTW to open 1-4-A play. This one at the pit. Quarterback passing to... Robinson, he plows through the Lions defense, gains a few yards there later. Crimson Tide again with the pass play complete to Seth Johnson. Nice little gainer there as well. Minden keeps the uh, streak going here. McLaughlin faking the ball, gains a few yards, calling his own number straight up the gut. Finally knocked down by the Lion defense later. Crimson Tide's McLaughlin trying to make a play here, but loses the ball. It's going to be a sack, but Minden picking up a big win tonight, 17-6, the final over BTW. Woodlawn looking to build on their first win of the year. Tough one tonight, though, as they take on Ruston. Ruston leading 31-6 going into the third quarter. Contravion Hargrove adds some more right there. Now Woodlawn going to come back with a score of their own. This is going to be Delatrion Moten. Decides to keep it himself, runs straight up the middle in for the touchdown right there. They would also go for two on the next play instead of the extra point, but it would not be enough. Woodlawn falls tonight 49-14, to the final score. The Lakeside Warriors look at a snap a three-game losing streak as they take on Peabody. This is Jordan Pruitt finding Zach Sumlin, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. That cut the lead to 21-12 Peabody. Later, Arthur Lavalleus. Nice gainer there off the right side. Gainer. Finally taken down by Jalen Jackson. And then later, the Peabody quarterback, Tyreek Mills, throwing the interception to Chance Scott. He's going to take it all the way back to the house on the pick six. That made it 28-12. Lakeside. Falling tonight, though, to Peabody, 50-28 to the final. Plain dealing, hitting the road for a district matchup with Arcadia. And Arcadia is going to score first here. This is Jaqueline Jackson punching it in. That would also go for two, and it would be successful here. This is going to be Denarion Bailey. you going to go for, punch it in for the two-point conversion. The Majorettes are loving seeing that by the Hornets early on. Arcadia is going to push it down for a, another score, but this time it's Tyler Jefferson taking it in for the touchdown. That makes it 16 to nothing. Arcadia wins this one at home 44 to 14, the final score. The Homer Pelicans are in the house that Eddie Robinson built, taking on Lincoln Prep. Coming into the second quarter, Homer already up 21 nothing, but they're not stopping there. Montavious Grant keeps it for another touchdown. You guessed it, Homer is pushing it down the field again, but this time it's number four, Star Thomas. And he is pushed out of bounds right before he gets into the end zone there. Very next play, he's going to get it back, and he's going to take it in, and this time he's going to score the touchdown without a care in the world. It seems like this was all Homer in this one. They win 52-7 the final. Bird looking for their first win of the season, taking on Natchitoches Central in the first quarter. Scoreless ball game. Rodney Robinson taking the feed, but Bird's Luke Militello there to blow it up in the backfield. Chiefs drive would stall out. Second quarter, Bird going for it on fourth down, but Cam felt would be stopped just inches short. That would be a turnover on downs, but Natchitoches Central taking over inside of their own five-yard line. Yeah, it wouldn't matter, though, because Kalen Demars takes it on the end around, oh, wow. gets the corner, and he takes off 97 yards on the scoring strike. That is the longest play against Bird in their 115-year history. That would give the Chiefs an early lead. That early lead didn't matter, though. Yellow Jackets able to bounce back, and thanks to a last-second field goal and some craziness there on that final drive, they end up getting the win, taking it 9-7. The Haynesville Golden Tornado blowing it to Shreveport to take on Magnolia Charter last night. Pick it up first quarter. Tornado up seven. Miguel Turner connecting with Eric Alford. Alford taking it all the way inside the five-yard line before he's finally 
wrestled down to the ground. Then later the drive, Turner looking to pass, keeps it instead and easily for the score. Extends Haynesville's lead to 14. Magnolia trying to get their offense going. This will be a first down, but the drive would stall. Haynesville adding to their lead later on. Turner, the QB sneak, another score. Golden Tornado up by 21. This one all Haynesville last night. They roll 47 nothing. the final. This is crazy stuff, though, that you were talking about from the Bird game. It was fourth and 23. They do a reverse pass to get down close enough to make the 30-yard field goal to win that game last night. And then, you know, to have to be able to, it's never easy for a high school kid to hit a field goal when everything on the line to get that win, but Bird able to do it. And 30-yard field goal is a good field goal, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a 30-yard yeah, field know, goal. We, you got a 30-yard field goal at the battle <laughs> on the border. We've heard about it for weeks now. <laughs> he kicked a Straight field goal. Straight down the middle. We got the plays of the week coming up, right? We do have the plays of the week coming up. <laughs> Jerry Bird's going to join us to break down those top plays. That's coming up after the break.